on near High Point, Archdale, which is near High Point. And he does murals and things. He's a, a professional artist. And he is listed as doing still life landscapes, figures, no words, the whole shebang. And he was, he, originally, we were going to have a model, and he was going to paint from a model. But instead, he's going to do the landscape. Frankly, I'm glad, because I wanted to see how he does this with, with acrylic on the, the plane here. But he is a Christian artist, and he attributes that in his painting, he is doing it with Christian intent, uh, the wonders of God, etc. And uh, I don't particularly know what else to say about him, but we, we all know how well he paints. So I think that's the main thing. <laughs> Thank you all for having me. And, uh, I feel like I should be sitting there <laughs> and thinking, what am I doing teaching you guys anything? Anyway, uh, what I'm going to try to do is just a landscape. Um, I use a very limited palette, just uh, titanium white, ultramarine blue, uh, cadmium red, using medium, and uh, I'm using azo yellow today, which is kind of like cadmium white yellow. I'm just trying to experiment with that. But that's, that's pretty much all that I use. Um, I, it seems to, for me, when I first started plein air painting a year ago, let me show you my first one. That's my first plein air piece I did last February. Oh, and it's not bad, but here's the thing. It took me like five hours. <laughs> and when I started it, the scene I ended up with was not what I was looking at. I was like, man, what am I doing? I'm, for five hours. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, I'm learning to paint quickly. And that's one thing I liked about the plain air stuff is, is learning to paint quickly. And with that, even with that little bit right there, I had a full palette of <coughs> colors. And I would get so confused with so many different colors. I didn't have good color harmony. So just to give the illusion of distance, I'm not going to make them as dark as the set of trees here. thing about the acrylics, this stuff dries so fast, I can put layer on layer, and it will be dry in a matter of minutes. Um, I was talking to Harold a while ago about uh, some different types of acrylic paints. I just use, mostly, I use the Liquitex Basics, which are a student grade um, acrylic, and they work fairly well for me. I put anything in the sky, any kind of red undertone that I do in the rest of the painting. When I get to the point where I paint the sky, it's like something just don't really match. <laughs> so I'll put that in there. painting red barns, you can either make a really good painting or you can really mess it up <laughs> if you don't get that red just right. This, this right here is it's done. This right here is just about just a little bit tacky. better if I get uh, everything going at one time rather than working a lot of detail into one area then when you get down to the other part I'm like oh man that don't work now you have to go back and fix it you've already invested all that time into it so I'm finding that if I work all over the canvas it just works better for me I think so. 
that's a nice um, example of how horizon lines work, Jeremy. I see. <coughs> yeah, I'll be absent the first paint out. <laughs> be too intimidated. Music with your painting. <laughs> Did you have that? <laughs> you said I did have something you wanted. How <laughs> about a 16 by 20 canvas or a 14 by 18? This one. 18 by 24. 18 by 24, oh, wow, bigger than I thought. <coughs> You're covering a lot of canvas in the morning.